In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to properly light a Bunsen burner. There's some tubing that's connected to the Bunsen burner. This tubing needs to be attached to the gas jet. The gas jet has a handle. When the handle is turned perpendicular to the gas jet, the gas is off. To turn the gas on, you would turn the handle parallel with the gas line. When lighting a Bunsen burner, it's critical that the first step is lighting the match, then turning on the gas jet. If you were to turn the gas jet on first and then fumble with the match, while you're fumbling with the match, gas would be coming out of the gas jet creating potential hazards. So remember, first light the match, then turn on the gas jet. Light the match. You can turn the gas jet on all the way. You don't have to turn it on slowly. And you can set the match on top of the counter. Now this is a yellow flame, which is something we're usually not interested in. Usually we want to produce a flame that's blue that has both an inner cone and an outer cone. Now there's two adjustments that can be made on the Bunsen burner. On the bottom, there's a screw. This screw controls how much gas goes through the valve. There's also this barrel. This barrel swivels and the barrel controls how much air flows through. So we need to have the gas adjusted properly by adjusting the screw and we need to turn the barrel to allow for air to come in. Now remember what we're trying to achieve. We're trying to produce a flame that has both an inner cone and an outer cone. So this is the type of flame you'll be, you'll be shooting for in most every lab. Now it should be noted that the hottest part of this flame is not down here. Many students think that's the hottest part, but that is not correct. If you can see um, the iron mesh or the wire mesh that's glowing, there's a cold spot in the middle that's dark. That cold spot was produced because the inside of that flame is hollow. So once again, this is not the hottest part. The hottest part is at the top of the inner cone. You notice when we put the wire mesh there, we achieve um, a uniform red spot. It can also be demonstrated by burning some filter paper. You can see a little bit um, that there's a ring that's produced. So light the match first, adjust both the screw and the barrel to achieve a flame that has an inner cone and an outer cone. 